Found out wife of 17 years had three plus year affair. Should I tell the other man's wife? I have been really struggling for months after finding out my wife of 19 years has been having an affair for over three years. He is her co-worker. I found out it was a sexual affair for several months while he was engaged and the sex part ended after they got married and she got pregnant. However she kept the long distance, texting, sexting, sharing inappropriate photos, etc. part of affair until I found out. A lot of awful stuff that my wife did and based on her texts, she said horrible things she said about his wife while she was pregnant, her face, etc. My question. I feel like I am keeping this a secret by not telling his wife. It weighs on me daily. Should I contact her and tell her that she is married to a posh cheater? How should I tell her? First, I don't have any of her contact info other than a home address and know her Facebook, IG account. Any suggestions on whether to tell her and how to find out either a cell hash or email address? Tell her, I'd want to know. Have the proof and be kind. Do you have proof? If you're gonna tell her I would over messenger and send all the info I have. If you were ignorant of your wife's cheating would you want to be told? Go to survivinginfidelity.com. It helped me with a cheating wife who was sleeping with her boss. Tell her. I'm assuming you have the evidence? Facebook or Instagram is good enough. Yes tell her. Affairs take away people's agency to make decisions in their life. Give her back her agency. Fuck him. You have no obligation to him. Send it to her Facebook Messenger, with a couple screenshots if you have them. To point out the obvious, you are also married to a posh cheater so I'd chill on the rhetoric about him. I do think his wife should know. Why wouldn't you just DM her on FB? How hard is that? I hope you are divorcing her, right? I'd send the evidence to their HR too. My boyfriend thinks I have no aspirations because of my job. New to Reddit, so hopefully I'm doing this right. I, 23F, work as a secretary, office manager full-time. I graduated during COVID, applied to any job that I could, and this is the first one that I ended up getting. I studied to be a nutritionist, but there was no one hiring in my field when I graduated. I ended up absolutely loving my job. I love the people that I work with, I get to go home at 5, not be bothered anymore, and I get paid a good amount. I'm happy, and I could see myself being here for a long time. My boyfriend of 4 years, 30M, thinks I'm settling and has told me that I must not have any goals of furthering my future, since I actually like my job and don't want to quit after being there a year. He's an engineer and he's constantly brining up that fact. While he does make more than me, his job is constantly stressing him out and he dislikes nearly everyone he works with. He thinks that I should go into the field that I studied before and he says that it's embarrassing to talk about my job to his friends, county workers. I'm clearly educated, happy, and love my job so I don't see the issue here. I feel like there's nothing that I can say to him to get him to understand that. Edit. I would like to add that our current plans are for me to move in with him, and live rent-free since he owns his own home. That was his suggestion. Also, once we do get married, our plan is to have kids and have me be a stay-at-home mom. So long-term, me doing something within my major wasn't even really the plan. I'm also doing yoga teacher training and that's more where my passion lies and is something I could easily do in the future if I want to do something besides be a stay-at-home mom. If he doesn't understand that, and is embarrassed of you, then that should be enough to have some very serious conversations about your relationship. If you are happy, he should recognize that this is the most important thing. Someone could be in a really high-powered job, earning loads of money and he the most miserable person ever. It sounds like he is jealous, projecting. If he's unhappy with his job, he will probably be doing what he can to make you doubt how happy you are. You're probably not going to change his mind, he'll have to change it, or not, on his own. But if you're happy, then be happy. It totally makes sense after going through all the work of school to be content with being comfortable for a while. It doesn't have to be permanent, but it also doesn't have to be short term either. Tell him if he's worried so much about his image to not bring it up. Be confident in your choice and don't keep trying to justify it to him. He's either in your corner or he's not. No offense but your boyfriend sounds like a cunt. Boyfriend sounds like a dork obsessed with impressing others. If you are happy then who cares about anyone else? Bills paid, rent paid, and you actually like what you do. You're doing good. Your boyfriend is being an ass. I worked high paying, stressful careers for a long time. All I got was high blood pressure, anxiety, and weight gain. Life is too short for bullshit. If you are making enough money and happy with your work, enjoy it. And don't feel the need to take any criticism over it.
You do you. Why are you with a guy who doesn't respect your perfectly reasonable and valid choices? As a girl in engineering. There are two types of dynamics in relationships with engineering males from my humble opinion and experience. 1. They want a stay-at-home wife they can take care of and can carry on their legacy with kids. Be a trophy wife to them while being peak levels of fit and they can feel like they are the providers. Or. 2. They want a woman who has the same high ambitions and aspirations as them and acts more as them equal. They want someone whom they can call their partner and be able to gloat and flaunt about. To me it seems like your boyfriend originally thought he was more like the first one but is actually like the second. He wants someone he considers an equal more so that he can flaunt and thus not be embarrassed of. I had a job for over five years like that. Now I'm 30 and ready for a challenge, so I'm starting a new, more impressive job on Friday. If your boyfriend isn't happy you're happy, then he's not worth it. And who knows what the future brings. My, 25F, boyfriend, 26M has fallen for my best friend, 24F. The title is pretty self-explanatory, my, 25F, boyfriend, 26M, has fallen for my best friend, 24F. A little backstory, this year will be mine and my boyfriend's 8-year anniversary, we live together, and we planned on getting engaged soon. Before we were dating we were, and still are, in the same friend group, and so is my best friend. They've been friends for ages as well. They hang out sometimes as well. Going to the cinema to watch specific movies I'm not interested in, or watching football together, but most of the time we'll hang out with our entire friend group at one of our homes, eating dinner together or having drinks. For a few months now my boyfriend has been acting kind of strange, and after multiple times of me asking him if everything's alright, he finally sat me down to talk. He told me he has fallen for my best friend, and that he doesn't know what to do. He says he's still very much in love with me, and he's sure it's just a crush that'll pass. He even considered not telling me and just waiting it out, but he says it's been four months now and it's not over. When he told my this it felt like my heart stopped, and the ground got knocked down under my feet. I'm sure my best friend has no idea this is going on, and he's assured me nothing has happened between them. I believe him, as she's engaged to her boyfriend of four years and seems perfectly happy, and I trust her with my life. I honestly don't know what to do, and neither does he. I don't know if I want to continue this relationship, when he's got a crush on another girl, and not just any girl. The worst part is, I can see why it happened. They've got similar interests, specifically interests that I don't share. They both have a parent that passed away due to disease, and they have really good talks about their situations, and generally she's just a really nice and beautiful person. I don't blame her, but since he's told me I can't help but feel jealous and bitter. He doesn't want to tell her about this, as to not mess up the friendship and the dynamic in the group, my boyfriend and her fiancé are really good friends as well, but I feel like I would need to tell her. Especially if we end up breaking up over this. I just don't know what to do. Any advice is welcome. Should we continue this relationship, do you think it's worth it to try and get over this? And should we tell her about his feelings? Please help. Falling for someone and having a small crush are completely different. This situation is also different because he knows her very well. She's not some random pretty co-worker that he knows nothing of past the surface. If my boyfriend told me that he has fallen for my best friend, we would have a problem. He's been feeling this for four months, and didn't take the initiative to distance himself those months ago? Did he minimize his time with alone with her over the last month or so? If not, then he really did not try to wait it out. Sorry he dumped this on you. Yes, it'll happen again. You may even end up with a crush on a co-worker in the future. That's why a relationship is a commitment. The best way to kill a crush is to starve it that means little to no contact with your friend for a couple of months at least. That might be hard to do so it probably best you both inform your friend to let he know what is going on. Good luck, I know this has got to suck for you but crushes sometimes happen and the key is to not indulge them. I can see this working out only if he is fully willing to decrease his visits and talks with her by a large margin. Cutting contact completely almost, even. Intent is everything. If he still loves you and wants to work things out with you, he'd be willing to set a boundary and not involve himself with her alone until sometime in the future. I don't know. Me personally I don't think I'd be able to trust him not developing feelings for anyone else considering he was able to with this friend. But if he's willing, it may be worth the chance so long as he sets that boundary firmly. I'm sorry, that's a difficult situation. Maybe speak to your boyfriend about how deep his feelings are. There's a difference between a crush, and questioning whether you love someone romantically. 
How often does he think of her? Is he jealous of her fiancé? Does he do things for her that he would consider crossing a line? It sounds like he is willing to be open and honest with you. When you have all information you can make a more informed decision. I would break up. There's no way I would endure a man having feelings for another woman. And she's your friend? Nah. I'd be gone. I don't recommend involving your friend at all. This is awkward and unwanted. I mean if my boyfriend told me that he fell in love with my best friend and has these thoughts for months, I would break up with him because in the end, you're going to be second guessing every interaction and you know you were his second choice. If your best friend was single, would he dump you for her? It seemed like it's not a crush and he is in love with her. I wouldn't want to be with someone who fell in love with another while dating me especially if I saw a future with him. You both should read Not Just Friends by Shirley Glass. They need to stop hanging out and interacting one-on-one, -on -one before things escalate. Fiancé accepted a job in another state without talking to me about it. Most of it is in the title. I knew she had the offer, but she never sat down and talked it over with me before accepting. The new job is in a city that will be very difficult for me to find work in, and will involve at least a year of long distance before I could move out there. I would have agreed to move, but I'm kind of pissed that I wasn't involved in a decision that affects both of us. When I bring this up she gets angry because she says that I'm not excited for her getting her dream job. I am excited for her, but I really don't like how it went down, and moving out there might kill my career, which scares me. Edit. She doesn't have many other job prospects and her current job is ending. She has been trying to find jobs for me in the area, but they are not very plentiful. Obviously I've looked on my own too. Edit 2. To clarify what communication occurred prior to her making the decision. We talked about things in a theoretical sense, including how it would look for both of our careers. There was no definitive consensus at the time that she made the decision to accept, and no preceding conversation in which she said that she was intending on accepting. The last conversation we had before she accepted ended with, I'll accept this job if we can figure out how to make it work for you too. Sorry that the title is not completely clear. It's hard to fit all of the situation into a sentence. That's a bad way to preface a marriage. This also happened to me. Although we were married, we had a long distance marriage for about 10 months. Two years later, we're getting divorced. I most definitely harbored resentment over it. I had to give up my job, master's program, and had to go through a pregnancy alone during COVID. Not fun. I begged him for therapy, he refused. I would maybe look into that. Even for yourself. I want you to understand she didn't just make a job decision without consulting you. She actively decided that losing you was worth getting this job, and acted accordingly. Without the courtesy of even a heads up, she basically decided you could rearrange your whole life for her without her treating you with the slightest bit of common decency, or you could leave her, and she didn't care either way. I would let her go she is either checked out of your relationship, and trying to end it without a direct discussion about that, or she is so unreasonably selfish that she expects to just pack you up like an accessory whenever it's convenient for her. Postpone the wedding. Well, something like this happened to me except we were already married. He went back to his home state for a three-week hunting trip with his dad. Phoned me and said he got a job there. I was freaking furious. Twenty years later, we divorced, but if I had had a backbone I really should have divorced him right then. She made a decision with multilateral impacts on a unilateral basis. Not gonna tell you what to do, but it doesn't bode well. I mean, if you knew she applied, and you knew they made an offer, you did have an opportunity for input. She may have taken your silence for acceptance. You basically need to rethink this relationship entirely she made a major decision without discussing it with you in the first place. Now you mentioned a year-long distance between you and her. Yes she can and should get a job in her field but what if you can't find anything there she never thought of you before making this decision that impacts both of you. As some of the comments here I really don't think this will be the a one-time thing she will most likely do it again in the future. My advice is that you rethink this entire relationship you don't want to have to start over from the bottom in a new job to where you are now in your current position. You have to look at this as well. She has committed the rest of her life to you. The least she could do is have a conversation about the job and moving. I couldn't imagine not talking to my, now wife, about it before accepting a job. We moved for her job a year or so ago and talked many times about it before she interviewed and eventually accepted the job. 